Chapter 2 The school bus jerked to another stop. I nearly dropped the phone. A blonde-haired girl jumped off. She waved to a friend on the bus. I glanced down the aisle. Only two kids and me were still on the bus. My house is always next to the last stop because I live near the border of our town. I raised the phone and studied it. It was one of those really thin smartphones. It had a big black screen. The phone felt cool and sleek in my hand. I found the power button on the top and pushed it. A few seconds later, the screen lit up, bright blue. Then the screen filled with icons, dozens of them, all kinds of apps. The phone was loaded. I flipped through the screens of icons. There were games and magazines and news and sports. I studied them for a while, then I raised the phone to my ear. I didn't expect to hear anything, so the girl's voice made me jump. Hi, Jack, she said. She half talked, half whispered. Don't scream. I've been waiting for you. I'm your new friend. Huh? I lowered the phone and stared at it. The screen had gone blank, solid gray, no icons. I pressed the phone in my ear. Who is this? I asked. It's me, your new friend. Her voice was soft and whispery. I thought hard. I struggled to find out who it could be. Mindy? Is that you? I said finally. Mindy's my little sister Rachel's babysitter. She comes to our house after school every afternoon and says so mom and dad get home. Mindy is a real joker. She likes to play all kinds of tricks on me. Rachel always thinks it's a riot. I spoke into the phone. This is one of your dumb jokes, isn't it, Mindy? It's no joke. The girl replied. Don't you want to be my new friend? Are you sure you're not Mindy? I said. You sound a lot like Mindy. I don't know Mindy, the girl whispered. I only know you. You're my only friend, Jack. Well, wait, I said. It can't be Mindy, I told myself. How could Mindy know I would pick up this phone? How could Mindy know the number? My mind was spinning. I... I think you have the wrong number, I said finally. This isn't my phone, and I heard her sigh. If it's the wrong number, how do I know your name? She breathed. Well, come on. So it is Mindy, I said. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm laughing, but not enough, okay? I'm not Mindy, the girl snapped. Her voice was suddenly sharp and cold. Don't make me angry, she said. Whatever you do, Jack. Don't make me angry.